We are now going to add a second check and it's going to look a lot like our first check. So four and what we'll be adding here is comment. For comment in comments, we want to do something with comment content and we'll do something like find whether the comments in the file have key. And so we'll check to see if the occurrence of this is greater than minus one, if it exists somewhere other than minus one. And uh, if it does, then we want to add that to our report as well. But we don't want to print the comment because we don't want to continue to perpetuate the exposure of the key. And we'll explain what that means in a second. Comment issue. And then we'll see that we can say something like key is found in the HTML comments. Please remove. And there we go. So what does this mean? This means that we care about not having our HTML contain secrets we didn't mean to contain. We don't want this kind of accidental secret leakage. And uh, we can get all the comments by doing this. And this you'll see is a little more complicated. We have to say Lambda, and then we have to say is instance text comment. And this is just special instructions to the parser that we chose, beautiful soup, basically saying uh, we want to perform a function inside of find all. So we're passing this function, this Lambda, and that's what a Lambda is. It's essentially a self-contained anonymous function. So we're saying the function will just be test to see if uh, any text that we find, anything that's not a actual element, is it a comment? And remember, we added this comment before this class, and that's the reason for it, is we now have a way to see whether there's a comment there. And if you'll remember, if we actually print what our parsed HTML looks like, Let's go ahead and do that. We'll see that there's this comment there and it has this key. So it's essentially as if somebody was doing some stuff temporarily and left it in there. And it's just an HTML comment. It's supposed to be harmless, but it happens to contain a secret. Or it could be that they were trying to comment it out in the code that they were sending from the server, but it ended up getting stuck in there. Essentially, it's an accidental exposure of secret data in HTML that's going out to the World Wide Web. And that's something we don't want, so that's something we need to take care of. And we're having an error here as well, so let's take a look. Text is not defined. All right, so let's go back. And uh, yes, the problem is that, there we go. So we need to test to make sure that when we come across a piece of text inside of the parsed HTML, that text is of class comment. And I told you that the parsed HTML, it looks like a string, but it's actually just a collection of objects. It's a collection of objects representing forms and h1 and the body. It's essentially a tree of objects now, each object representing a different level of the hierarchy of the HTML document. So if you look at this, you'll see that we have like suppose the title. So now the title, right? If we, if we go in here and we do something like this, you'll see it's printing just the title. So you can see that now the attribute title has been mounted into this object. And an object itself, I mean, if you're not familiar with objects, an object is just a special kind of variable that represents a consistent set of behaviors. 
and attributes. So suppose we can have an object that represents a cat, an object that represents a dog, an object that represents a circle, a object that represents a square, whatever it is, whatever is related to the problem we're solving, we can have it be described in terms of objects. And then we can say, uh, what are the properties that we care about with objects? So for example, in this case, we care about having the typical HTML properties of an HTML document. So for our HTML document object, we have title, and then we have the ability to find things in there, and then we have comments, and all of that is based on that original parsing that happens when we construct this beautiful soup object. And that is when we take that string, which represents the HTML, and turn it into parsed HTML. And you can parse a lot of different documents like this. You can do XML, JSON, YAML, and we'll actually look at a little bit of that while we're working on this tool. But right now, the big news is if you see, we are now in a position to have comments be analyzed by our tool. Let's try that again. There we go. Form issue found. Comment issue found. Perfect. Everything is working as expected, and we'll be adding another check next.